Hey everybody, it's Mr. Shell here doing a responsive uh, response video to uh, my How to Burn PS2 game series um, where I show you how to burn with Nero, uh, alcohol 120% and DVD decryptor and so on. I'll be adding more videos, maybe some of you would like to well, be excited about that, maybe not. Um, anyway, this is a video about um, a file format which I keep getting emailed and commented about now and then asking um, what would I do if uh, I've got one of these file formats and I'm actually going to be burning this live so if you're going to use Nero 8 uh, and get the Nero 8 trial in the, the video description uh, you will also find a link to WinRAW which is the program I'm going to be using right like in a few seconds and um, as well as the other links to the, vi the series of videos that are on how to burn PS2 games anyway uh, I found uh, th uh, this um, folder. It's it's a PS2 game, and it's actually in 45 parts. You're not going to be burning this onto a CD with this any success. Well, I don't think so. Anyway, what you do is you either select them all, and you d and you press extract here, or extract files to another destination, or even this destination. But we what. Well, the e another easier way you select the top one or actually middle one or maybe at the bottom one actually avoid selecting like a blank one like this just don't know what might happen and I just it, the easiest way to do it is you select the top one top one uh, or the first one in uh, line and just extract here if you wanted to go to like another section of your drive just go extract files and then select your destination I just extract it to another the file destination instead so uh, I'll just take it to my document actually I'm just going to do it to my videos alright uh, just a little diversion uh, in the video ok videos and off it goes probably fast forward this to about 98 percent so the extraction is finished and it took about five minutes to extract all the 45 files it's um, 2.2.06 gig uh, so it's got extracted it to another destination anyway, it's in my videos and okay uh, there there it is um, usually if you extract it in the same distance nation it's actually become quite big as you see typically just look for the bigger file uh, it will be like a gig or whatever so just look for the biggest file there and that would probably be the game or if you want to be more specific properties and the ISO or image file to burn this file actually I'm just gonna get a disk out stick it in my drive uh, to burn this file you need to go into Nero 8 or the program of your uh, choice, the one you're going to be burning with. Um, I suggest uh, if you're going to be following the step by step do get Nero 8 because uh, 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 I think it's my preferred program. My DVD decryptor is free. Go, um, go into your Nero, Nero burning ROM or if you go into Nero start smart I just find it in my Nero Nero 8 and you go into Nero I don't even use it there we go Nero start smart right uh, there's the Nero start smart menu to get into the uh, Nero burning room you right click the little start fire button in Nero <coughs> to the Nero home page start a little s flame start button click it and there it is uh, that usually comes up uh, close it and I'm just gonna close that because I've got it down here and now come back up and you can close that since the program is already up and to actually burn your image you go into a recorder and you go to burn image click and then you find your image 
mine would be in videos find your destination and you click it right this is a uh, this like a more important part if it comes up in this screen in Nero burning room it's an ISO you have got yourself an ISO that's one last thing to worry about and anyway, you open it and it should say DVD uh, image you can change it to CD and I don't think it'll fit on a CD well and I know it won't fit on a CD but I would think typically you could burn it on like a number of CDs but uh, I would not suggest you and I just get yourself a DVD they on the cost a little bit more but it's worth it okay you just I just put on my disk in you maybe Nero should configure itself to my disk there we go and just change the speed and it comes up the disk anyway you put it to the lower burning speed it it's suggested by almost anyone who burns anything put it on a lower burning speed it's more accurate all the time you can change the number of copies you want uh, and from here you can just burn it and then you just press burn and off it goes that's the buffer in Nero now change from like 90 to 100 to 98 so on and there it says your remaining time I'll have to wait 7 minutes and 14 38 uh, 7 seconds okay everybody uh, this is just uh, the last little bit and uh, the, as you see on the screen it has finished um, burning it's taken 9 minutes to do it and it's just finishing up it's actually writing the lead out which is take we just finished about a second or so I don't know it's finished now okay you may have heard that my disk just come out and they just successfully burned out for speed. If you get this, uh, Nero says it's burn fine, so it should b work well. Okay, and I've got my disc here. I'll actually get my uh, hand camera out and show you how to use Swap Magic now.